I am oddly a target for creepy people. I am only 4'11 and female, so that may be why. About a month ago, I was at a pharmacy filling a prescription. I have central pain following a stroke that I had in my early 20s. I can walk, but the brain damage causes severe burning in my entire body. Due to this, I am on morphine and seen by a specialist at a well-known hospital. I dropped off my prescription and waited. I noticed a guy standing behind me, and standing way too close. He could hear everything I was saying. I sat down and tested my blood pressure. I noticed him walking around in the aisles by me, so I thought that he was waiting too. They called my name about 20 minutes later. I didn't see him when I was leaving the store. I looked in my car and got in, locking my doors immediately due to paranoia of watching scary movies, I guess. I stopped at the first stop sign and out from behind the tree jumps that same guy. In one motion, he was out from behind the tree and was grabbing my passenger side door handle. It was locked. He seemed as shocked as I was and looked like he was grabbing for the back passenger door next. I started screaming and put my hand on my horn and then sped away. Other cars were also honking. I saw him run. I drove until I saw a cop car sitting at Carl's Jr. and then I ran inside. He took my info and drove to the stop sign and asked me to follow him. I couldn't see that guy anywhere. The police officer said it happened last week to an elderly lady so he needed to find him. I was really, really lucky. Always lock your doors. I was standing in line at the local pharmacy to get my prescriptions. This is a small town and I'm a regular there so they know me on sight. I was behind a couple of other people in line and there were a couple of people behind me. I kept feeling a tickle in my hair in the back of my head but every time I looked behind me the guy there was a few steps back and looking at the floor. This happened several times by the time I was at the front of the line. The pharmacist told me she wanted to talk to me about my medication in the consultation room they had at the time. I thought that this was weird because we both knew I had been on this medication for years and would be for life. Nothing new. I get back to the room and close the door and she comes in from the door at the other side that leads from the pharmacy. She told me that the man behind me had been stepping forward, sticking his nose in my hair and smelling it before stepping back and looking down at the floor. This shook me pretty badly as this is such weird behavior, especially in my little town. The pharmacy staff insisted on having me wait there until the guy was distracted by another pharmacy employee and they had a security guard walk me to my car and watch me drive off to make sure that I was gone before hair sniffer came out and saw what I was driving and what direction I was driving in. I still use this pharmacy and some of the same people still work there. I will always be grateful that they took the initiative to make sure that I was safe that day. I worked at a pharmacy for a few years and met some incredibly odd people. Some were harmless, such as the old lady who would talk your ear off about owls until you could manage to escape. Others, however, were not as innocent in their weirdness. Once, I was ringing up first aid supplies for a customer who I noticed had a greenish tint to his skin and it actually put me in the mind of Frankenstein's monster because of his size and build and just his overall look. As I was handing him his change, he asked, Do you wonder why my skin is green? I politely as possible told him the thought had crossed my mind, so he began to tell me he had a certain disease that I had never heard of and can't remember what he called it now, but then he asked me if I knew how you got that disease, to which I replied, no. He said, It's from having sex with dogs. 
I have sex with dogs. Then he grabbed his bag of supplies and walked out like it was just a normal thing to say. Another strange person was our mailman. I am a friendly, talkative kind of girl, and I try to make everyone feel important and appreciated. Well, apparently, the mailman we had mistook that as me being flirtatious with him. I noticed he had started spending more and more time in the pharmacy chit-chatting with me whenever he delivered our mail. I didn't really think anything creepy of it, though. One day, my husband had sent me roses just for no reason. The mailman came in and saw them and asked me who they were from. I told him that my husband had sent them. He asked if my husband was good to me and if I loved him. I told him he was the greatest husband ever and I didn't know what I would do without him and that I loved him dearly. He wanted to know how long we'd been married. I told him. He wanted to know where my husband worked and I told him. Then he started to ask more in detail about my husband's job, wanted to know if he ever worked nights or out of town, what time he left and got home, etc. After a while, I started to be more vague with my answers and he finally left. I told my husband about our slightly odd conversation when I got home that evening. He immediately told me the guy sounded too into me and he thought maybe he was wanting to see if I was ever home alone so he could come over or something. I brushed it off. After all, it was just the nice middle-aged mailman, although he was a big man. The next week, I had walked about two blocks down to a fast food restaurant for lunch. As I'm sitting by a window, all of a sudden, there he is waving and smiling in the window at me. So I wave back in a completely uninterested way. The next thing I know, he came into the restaurant and sat down at my table. He said he was looking for me and was so glad that he found me. I really didn't know what to say, so I just told him I only had about a minute before I had to get back to work and excused myself. For the next two weeks, it seemed like every time I turned around, he would be there even when I wasn't working. It was really starting to get annoying and a little scary. Then, as quickly as it started, he just stopped. He would come in, drop off the mail without even a word, and I was fine with that. One of the creepiest repeat customers we had was an overweight guy in his 50s. His pale, white skin and blondish white hair always looked oily and his teeth were big, pointy, and very yellow. He was a creep and a half, always hugging every younger female that he could corner. And they weren't friendly little hugs either, it was full body fill you up and make you feel violated and nasty kind of hugs. It didn't matter how much you resisted or told him no, he would force it. My co-workers would warn me and this other young girl that I worked with so we could get up behind the counter where he couldn't reach us. He totally made my skin crawl. I could go on and on. There were so many creepers I met while working at that pharmacy.